Good morning. Happy Thursday. 7.45 or so a.m. Eastern. Hope you guys are having a good week. Um, it's sunny and beautiful here. It's been raining like crazy, so I'm going to take that and get some walks in today. Um, and of course, some riding. I've got two classes to film. So uh, I've gotten a lot of people who have come in, into the group, new crewbies, who have talked about as their struggle, because you guys know I asked that, what's your biggest struggle? Um, choreography related. So I know not everyone teaches to the beat and not everyone includes choreography. There's a mix on that. If you're not interested, cut it now. But if you do do choreography, um, I wanna talk about what's the best choreography you can do. So a lot of the struggles have been things like coming up with new choreography, keeping it inter interesting, remembering complicated choreography, um, and you know doing it correctly and safely. So I think that is something that hopefully you have really good training and really good management. Um, and for those of you that do include choreography in your classes, I'd be curious to know, have your managers gone over, or your lead instructors gone over exactly how to do each move so that you're doing it safely? Um, do you have a list of moves that you can do and some that you can't? So the way that we do it at my studio is I have very limited choreography to the things that I think are safe. Now that's gonna depend on where you teach and how you teach and what you personally think is okay to do. Um, I've trained all my instructors to do the moves the safe way um, and to not include any crazy stuff, what I would deem as crazy, but it's all relative, um, in class that I think is unsafe for riders. Now, when we're talking about the best choreography and the way to implement choreography in a class, the key is to keep it simple more simple than you would think. So 99.9% .9 of the people in your class will either one, do it incorrectly, or two, not even try it because you're scaring the crap out of them. So it doesn't need to be super complicated. Even if you have a very uh, advanced group of riders, if you keep the choreography simple and then just sprinkle it in throughout class, it can still be a big challenge and you can Make it harder by increasing the resistance while you do it, or increasing the speed while you do it, or things like that. It doesn't have to be these crazy arm moves or you know something that's like a 10 different move combination. It doesn't need to be complicated. Same thing with the way we do our classes, right? So when you design your routine for class or your profile, the goal isn't to make it as complicated as possible. It's to make it so that you can, it's to make it teachable, right? It's to make it doable, achievable for them. But the key is in the coaching and it's the same thing with the choreography. So even if it is simple, but you challenge them while you're doing it, they're not, and they're never gonna leave saying, oh, that was too easy. It, it, it's all about how you coach it. Um, and I'd rather, I personally would rather have my clients do simpler moves and maybe a lot of them or challenge them in different ways and have them do it right than have people so confused and have the move so complicated that only a you know a quarter of the class can can manage it so i personally think some of the best classes i've ever been to are the ones where the choreography is used but it's simple and the coaching is the powerful part and the piece that makes it hard is the way that the instructor challenged us so keep that in mind when you're designing your class and your choreography by the way also the simpler the choreography the easier it's gonna be for you to coach so when it gets really complicated all you're gonna be thinking about in your head is oh shoot so I have to add this combination I have to coach them into that and the the words and the things that you say become less meaningful because it becomes a dance class of all these different um, kind of moves strung together and it becomes less about the motivation and the coaching behind it. So just keep that in mind. I personally, you might disagree with this, but I, I personally think simple choreography can make the best classes. It doesn't have to be crazy complicated. So I'd be curious for those of you that do do choreography in your classes or maybe you're thinking about it, what are your questions? How are you currently doing it? How is your lead instructor doing it? How are you kind of managing that process. What do you like about it? What don't you? Let me know in the comments um, and we'll talk about it next week. All right guys, have a great rest of your week and I'll talk to you soon.